Hi there, welcome to the Team Coaching Toolkit video series sponsored by Reslex. This video is called Press Reset. So what's this tool about? Well from time to time as a team leader you may find yourself in a team where things have gone badly wrong and relationships in the team have got to the point where they could only be described as dysfunctional. Now if you can get to the point where everybody in your team or certainly all of the key players in the team recognize that something needs to change then you have the opportunity to press reset. So what's the theory? Well the theory is if, if the team is properly set up in the first place and the rules of engagement and, and, and the behavioral norms are agreed at the very beginning of a team's life cycle then it, properly managed behavior should be fine throughout the project or throughout the program or even through the lifespan of the team. When behaviors are not established early on everybody brings bad behaviors that eventually start to become corrosive on the team environment and the team starts to become dysfunctional deadlines and um, objectives start to be missed and there's a real potential for team failure. But Once everybody can see the opportunity to correct that or the need to correct that then you can take the team through the process I'm about to describe that gives you a far greater chance of resetting the behaviors to create conditions for future success. Now the tool works in three stages. The first stage is reflection, the second stage is resurrection and the third is resilience. The exercise needs a full day, one a full day for a workshop, ideally away from the office. There's no shortcuts to this, there's no squeezing it into a two hour session um, <clears throat> around another team meeting, there's no it's not going to work if you just try and squeeze it even into half a day. You need time and space to reflect, talk and to think. Ideally you have this exercise away from the office. Now, <clears throat> as a team leader you may decide to facilitate this session yourself. Alternatively, you may decide to bring in an external facilitator, but whoever does that needs to do some prep work before the day of the workshop. And the point of that prep work is to understand, to talk to all of the key players on a one-to-one -one basis and understand what their issues are. Where, <clears throat> where do these bad behaviours arise? What's gone wrong that's created the situation that you're in? The point about this prep work is as a facilitator you then know how to steer the conversation, where the hot buttons are, where the sensitive points are, and you can manage the discussion around them. Now on the day of the workshop, we move into these three phases and the first phase which is reflection starts with establishing the ground rules and the ground rules are crucially there is a no blame culture in the room that everybody speaks and everybody gets the opportunity to be heard and that the focus is around this dialogue rather than debate it's about trying to it's an exchange of thoughts and ideas rather than um, a debate around who is correct or not. Now once the ground rules have been set you can then move into the reflection process and that starts with a question that says well why are we here? Why do we need to press reset? Why is, this, why is it important that the team learns, relearns how to work as an effective unit? And that means addressing what's the team's purpose, what's its goal or objectives, um, what's the what are we trying to achieve through the project, through the program, through the team's work cycle? And you're trying to remind everybody that this is important because without that single guiding star of where are we headed, then the danger is that everybody is coming at this exercise from a different place. Having then worked out why we're here, there's then an exercise that says, well, what's happened? Let's look back at the previous period and talk through calmly and rationally about what, what's gone wrong. What are the things that we could have done better? And having drawn out this information from everybody, everybody around the table, then and started to schedule it up so you've got it working on, on flip charts or whiteboards or whatever, <coughs> and you've essentially exercised the past, you can then be ready to move to the next stage. 
The next stage is resurrection. And there are three components to this. The first stage is to ask the room, so what could we do differently? Now this is very different to what are we going to do differently. What you're looking to, to draw out from the team is ideas, thoughts, potential. And again, it's a matter of getting all the ideas noted, drawn out from different people, and then, only then do you then go to the section which says, right, now what are we going to do differently for the forthcoming period? And having worked out what you're going to do differently, the final bit is, and how are we going to do it differently? What are the behaviours that we need to now bring into the team? What are the good behaviours we're looking for? And what are the bad behaviours that we're going to avoid? And these can then be noted down into a new set of rules of engagement. The final stage in the press reset process is resilience. Because whilst it's very easy in the calm environment of, of, a, of a, a workshop where everybody's relieved that we're addressing the problems, that we're going to be doing something differently, the old pressures that created the behaviours to begin with are still going to be there. And so the question to the team is, right, where are the pressure points likely to arise in the future? And then crucially, what are we going to do when those pressure points arise? Now what's great about this part of the exercise is it starts to really embed this idea of how the behaviours are going to work in practice. So there you have it. Now, there's a lot more detail to this process um, than I've had time to talk about in this short video. So if you would like more information, have a look on the website www.teamcoachingtoolkit.com um, and have a look for Press Reset. There is also quite a lot of other tools and techniques around building effective teams. So have a look at them, have an experiment, see how you get on.